In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you possible reasons why you might have a dry skin, skincare ingredients to look out for in your body lotions, and skincare ingredients to avoid. I am also going to be recommending five body lotions that will help you deal with your dry skin, giving you that smooth, soft, and supple skin that you're going for. lovelies and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Onini Anikwe if you have a dry skin then you want to stick around to the end of this video dry skin can be caused by several reasons here are a few reasons why you might have a dry skin the main reason could be because it's your natural skin type some individuals have drier skin than others as a result of genetics so their body does not produce as much sebum as others do. Another reason could be the weather. Environmental factors like cold, low humidity could cause dryness. During colder months, the air tends to be drier, which can lead to moisture loss from the skin. Dry skin can also be caused by taking hot baths and showers frequently for a prolonged amount of time. This can strip the body of its natural oils, thereby resulting in dryness or irritation although washing your skin regularly is important i mean that's a form of personal hygiene but excessive cleansing of the skin can also strip your skin of its natural oils so recommended number of times to take your bath maybe twice daily i wouldn't recommend anything more than two times a day as people grow older their skin tends to produce less sebum this tends to make them more prone to dryness and wrinkles. Some medical conditions like eczema, psoriasis, thyroid disorder can also lead to dryness of the skin. Some medications can also have side effects that may include dryness. Also, exposing yourself to excessive amount of sunlight can compromise your skin barrier. If you're also not drinking a lot of water, it can also lead to dehydration and reduction in the level of moisture in your skin so the use of artificial heating or air conditioning can reduce the humidity indoors there are several things you can do to help improve your dry skin one of which is using gentle cleansers and moisturizers avoid hot showers it's better to use lukewarm water rather than using hot water using humidifiers indoors is also a great way to add moisture to the environment ensure that you're drinking at least eight glasses of water daily to help keep your skin hydrated avoid the sun as much as you can if you need to go outdoors make sure you're wearing your sunscreens you can use a hat and even your sunglasses for extra protection avoid these ingredients if you have a dry skin the first ingredient is alcohol alcohol based ingredients such as denatured alcohol ethanol isopropyl alcohol are usually found in cleansers or astringents these can be very drying and strip the skin of its natural oil so you want to stay away from them the second ingredient to avoid is fragrances artificial fragrances and perfumes in skincare products can be very irritating to the skin they can cause redness itchiness skin sensitivity leading to further dryness. The next on my list is retinoids. This includes retinol and retin-A. Retinols are very beneficial to the skin, but for people with dry skin, it can be too harsh for them, especially when used in high concentration and frequently. They can lead to redness, peeling, and irritation. The next is alpha hydroxy acids, AHA. AHA is like glycolic acid, lactic acid are used to exfoliate the skin for skin turnover. Although these ingredients are very nice and can be tolerated by people with normal to oily skin, if you have a dry skin, you want to be careful while using AHAs. I recommend using mandelic acid as your AHA, as mandelic acid is more tolerated by the skin. The next one is benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is usually used in the treatment of acne. This ingredient can be very drying and irritating to the skin, especially for people who have 
dry skin. The next ingredient to avoid if you have a dry skin is sulfate. Sulfates like sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium laureth sulfate are foaming ingredients found in many cleansers. They can be really harsh on the skin, disrupting its natural moisture barrier. Next is essential oils. A lot of products actually do contain essential oil. Some essential oils can be sensitizing and irritating to dry skin. The next ingredient is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a great ingredient for people who have acne and oily skin. But when used in high concentration and frequently on dry skin, it can lead to further dryness. Artificial dyes and colorants found in some skincare products can cause dryness and sensitivity so what then do we use i bet you think you're missing out on all the amazing skincare ingredients here are the skincare ingredients that are safe for dry skin first is hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid is a humectant it's an amazing ingredient it can hold up to 1000 times its weight in water it hydrates the skin by attracting moisture from the environment, locking it into your skin, giving you that supple and plump skin. The next ingredient to look out for is glycerin. Glycerin is also a humectant that provides hydration and prevents water loss. The next on our list is ceramides. Ceramides are natural lipids that are found on the outer layer of the skin. Skincare products containing ceramides can help reinforce the skin's moisture barrier, reducing water loss and maintaining hydration. The next ingredient is squirreline. Squirreline is derived from olives or sugar cane. It is a lightweight and non-greasy oil that helps to moisturize the skin without clogging the pores. Another thing to look out for in your skincare products is occlusives. Occlusives like Petrolatum, Dimeticon, what occlusives do is that they form a protective barrier on the skin, sealing in moisture and preventing water loss. You also want to look out for moisturizers that contain natural oils. Natural oils like Ojoba oil, Argan oil, Rosehip oil are rich in fatty acids and antioxidants which can nourish and moisturize dry skin. You also want to look out for ingredients like shea butter, aloe vera, honey, colloidal oats, pantanol, and allantoin. All these ingredients I have mentioned are very amazing ingredients to use on your dry skin. When selecting your skincare products for your dry skin, you want to be looking out for products that are fragrance-free because fragrance-free products are less likely to irritate your skin. So let's move on to the main part of this video. Let's talk about five body moisturizers that you can use on your dry skin. The first on our list is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This moisturizer contains ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and glycerin. This cream is packed with essential ceramide that helps to restore and strengthen the skin's natural barrier. During Hamatan, if you're looking for a cream that you can use and be sure that you're not going to be looking all white, dry and flaky, then CeraVe is a great one to consider. The next body moisturizer is the Eucerin Advanced Repair Cream. This particular cream is one that is not talked about a lot, but Eucerin is a very amazing cream for people with dry skin. When you're using this cream, you do not have to worry about dryness, flakiness, itchy skin. You don't have to bother yourself about all that because it takes care of it. You'll just notice that your skin is really soft and glowy. This body cream contains ceramides and urea. If you have a rough and dry skin, then the Eucerine Advanced Repair Cream is one you might want to consider using. This cream replenishes the moisture in your skin and helps to tackle and deal with dryness and rough skin. So while the ceramide repairs your skin barrier, the urea helps to exfoliate dead skin cells and enhance moisture retention in your skin. The next on our list is the Aveno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. The main ingredient in this body lotion is colloidal oat. Colloidal oat is known for its soothing and anti-inflammatory properties. So if you have a dry skin and you also experience itchiness on your skin, then you might want to try the Aveno 
moisturizing body lotion it helps to lock in moisture reduce itchiness relieve dry skin number four on our list is the neutrogena hydro boost body gel cream the main ingredient in this body cream is hyaluronic acid this moisturizing lotion delivers intense moisturization to the skin it keeps your skin highly moisturized hydrated soft supple this cream is very lightweight and it absorbs very quickly into the skin so it doesn't leave any sticky tacky feel on your skin yet it gives you the needed hydration number five body lotion of course you guys know that i cannot do this video without mentioning this one this one is my fave and that's the e45 moisturizing lotion i did a review on the e45 body lotion if you're yet to see that video i'm going to pin that up there the e45 moisturizing lotion is a very lightweight lotion it hydrates the skin keeps your skin soft supple smooth and there is also the e45 body cream e45 has the body lotion and the cream lotions are lighter than creams creams are richer and thicker so during winter or hamatan, you may want to consider using the cream if you have a dry skin so that you can get in more hydration into your skin. All the products I have mentioned in this video are suitable for daily use and all help improve the overall appearance and texture of the skin. These products can be used with body oils as well. So if you're a big fan of body oils, you can also use these body lotions with your oils i did a video on body oils based on skin type i'm going to link that video up there so you can pick any of the body oils that work for your skin type to use alongside your body lotion remember that before you introduce a new skincare product into your routine you need to do a patch test especially if you have a very sensitive Click on this link for a simple and affordable skincare routine for your dry skin. Thank you so much for watching and if this video was helpful to you, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again in my next one. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.